Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, the big G-O-D, the biggest Lotto. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Let us step in and find out why we spiritually live here, what is here for you, beloved, why did you resonate with the title, and why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us step in and talk to God, okay? Just so this person can see me in a different um, 
outlook here. This person, they want you to change how you see them. They want to come in and, hey, you know, sort of like pretend. Pretend that they care. Pretend that they're on your side. Pretend that they're sorry. Pretend that they didn't know better before. But this person knew exactly what they were doing. That's the crazy thing. People be knowing what they're doing. They just don't know what God has planned for anyone. We don't know. That's why it's important to always be humble. Treat people with kindness and know a place. And stick to the lane. And this person here, at some point, they felt above you. <laughs> That's what's going on here, right? The table's turn energy is big. Because this is someone that felt above you at some point. They felt like they knew better than you. They had more than you. They, they were in a better position than you. And in that situation, this person, they could have been humble. Hey, you know what they could have done too? They could have just showed love. And let God bless them because it was their turn. But God tests us like, oh, what are you going to do with this blessing? I am going to act right and be a good person regardless of your blessings or you're going to allow your blessings to gas you up. So you think you are me. You think you are God. This person really didn't know their place. I'm getting other things here. Like I'm hearing other conversations. It's more than just them having a mindset of like, you won't be anything. It's them voicing it to others. It's them standing in that energy and throwing it towards you and projecting it onto you. And what? Treating you badly. Because of what they think they fucking know, dummy. And you know what God does? Flips the script. As a what? As a lesson. And God does what? Uses his vessels to prove a point. You are being used right now in this person's life to prove a point. That they are shit, they got shit, and never gonna be on shit compared to you. God wants this person to look at you like that. Forever thinking that they can treat you the way they did. It's painful, but it's true. This person cannot access your energy. They've been trying to like think of ways to approach you. Like maybe if I say this, maybe if I do that, maybe if I act like this, maybe this, that, and the third. But one thing that this person is failing to understand that life doesn't revolve around pretentious acts. One thing that this person fails to realize is that you're not stupid like them. You're not foolish and, and insecure and freaking dumb like them. It would be different if you also treated them badly, right? Then you would deserve that treatment from them too. But you stood in a different energy. Like I said, this person could have just showed love, knew their place appreciated and had gratitude for it instead of wanting to rub it in other people's face because God will strip you of any power you think you have and show you how small you are using the very same person you thought you were bigger than so watch yourself because it ain't that it really ain't that it'll never be that let's clarify further let's tap in further to this energy okay They have comic debts to pay. They have a lot of things that they carry with them, like, every day. And so, they have forms of escapism, right? This person has forms of escapism. And it stems from all their pretentious acts. This is a fake it till you make it kind of person here. Heavy on that, anything that this person has attained, they have to portray an act. They have to falsify their identity. So their illusionizing life is nothing new. They just feel like you are too ahead to be blinded by their stupidity. Some people really Here. 
We have the moon. We have the four of cups. This person, the truth is, as much as the past held a different outcome where they had certain things figured out or thought they had certain things figured out, they thought this was going on for them, this was what was happening for them, they thought this was going to be a forever thing, like their life was forever going to be like that. But again, you can't anticipate life, y'all. You can only just pray and be a good person and hope that your life aligns with that in you. Like, I know I'm a good person, so I pray every day that I'm matched by that in my world and in my reality. I don't give a fuck about no one else because I ain't him. And it's that energy where this person, because they weren't a good person, their karma is serving them in a way that is unfavorable. It's not karma that is like... Good. This person is being faced with unpleasant events in their life. They go, they're going from a position of having something to not having anything. They're going from a position of being in a certain position to not being in that position. And God is saying, this person did not just treat you badly. This was someone who was so gassed. So narcissist, narcissistic and so caught up in what they thought they had known in life that when someone like you presented themselves or anybody at that time, they felt superior. Like, yo, you gotta firstly talk to me like this. And also, I don't wanna hear that. Like, baby, that's what I'm saying. Be careful how you treat people because you never know how God is using that person in your life. So, you know, the, my partner told me something interesting the other day. I don't remember when, but like we were speaking and he said something along the lines of purpose is so beautiful because you know that you are, deter you are, you are putting in the work towards an outcome that is actually destined for you. Right? That's what purpose is. And it's the energy here tying down to this individual where... They don't know their purpose. And it's scary for this person because back then, they thought they had it figured out. So now they're in the energy of trying to figure life out like back to square one. I thought I knew this, but I don't know that. They're in a dis different trimester of their life. Like I thought I could move like this, but I can't even move like that. I thought I could do this, but I can't even do that. And the difference between you and them is you know your purpose and you are breaking generational curses and you are being a good person and you are sending out good vibrations on earth. And you have no idea what that is doing, but comically, you're going to receive what is due. Don't be surprised when this motherfucker try to smile and go, hey, hi. Oh, this you, right? You acting like this now. Mmm, life must be ripping that ass. Clarify the night of souls reversed. This, I, I'm not laughing. I'm just, I love when God does this, you know. I personally have been used in many, many situations where I was slaughtered. I was like an ugly duckling, the black sheep, the whatever you call it. Whatever people thought they knew me as, whatever they had stigmatized me as, and they had put on me. And God was like, man, man, it ain't that. Like, like I'm going to clear all this and actually show you who this is. And that's what God did for me. And that's what God has been doing for you. It's vindication. This person here, it's more than just guilt, man. This is like an unexpected truth. This person really thought you were nothing. Like, clarify the pen of cups here. And now they want to be friends and have a relationship and, and be in your energy because their life is not working out. Now they want to act a certain way, act right, to gain certain things. We have the tower reversed here. This person is high.
highlighting the fact that they're afraid of losing and failing in their life. Like, this is someone here that put, is putting in the work and has been putting in the work for, for all the wrong reasons. It's like, it's a, there's a difference between someone who's determined and putting in the work every day in a way to better themselves, in a way to step into a better energy. And there's a difference between someone putting in the work every day and staying in the same bitter energy, miserable energy, narcissistic energy, not willing to change, not willing to hear anything, not whatever, I'm doing me. That's not destiny, that's not purpose, that's ego. And with life whipping that ass, you will see the karma unfolding. That's why it's important to know your place, not in ego, but in truth. Like, damn, I see what I'm meant for. Let me not squeeze myself in things that have nothing to do with me. Let me not put in hard work and dedication just so in the end it towers like it was nothing. Be careful what you plant. And be careful who you are in life because your deeds on earth are planted by you. It's your shit. And if you ain't right, they won't be right too. Your seeds may harvest whatever, but it will never be what it was meant to be because you're not doing it with God. And you're not doing it with you being a good person. You just think you know. This is this person. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. I'm talking about this person is in fear of not having money, in fear of not having success. They have a fear of failure. It's like, damn. I thought that person, I thought I was not even going, like, man, I thought I was not even going to hear about that person. Now that person in this position, and then they remember how they treated you. Then they remember what they even said about you, towards you. They remember everything, and it's scary because they know what they did. They know who they are. And therefore, they're striving to have this and this for themselves, knowing damn well that they were looking at your downfall long ago. They didn't see you as nothing long ago. How you think your shit's gonna turn out, sweetie? Huh? Let's talk about it. Care about the justice reverse? <laughs> it's like, yeah, man. We have a page of wands here. This person is trying to manifest things for themselves. Like, they're trying to pull in new, like, they're trying to attract certain things, but you attract what you are, sweetie. So what's good with your wicked ass? What's good with your filthy heart and your filthy mind? This person got another thing coming thinking that they gonna just pray over other people's downfall and then plant their seeds and hope they grow. While they kick 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 about other people's downfall. Yo, you won't reach a stalemate. You won't have shit to your name. That's why people, you gotta be mindful who you do wrong to, man. You gotta be mindful how you spread your little words and who you think you are. If you don't know God, you better shut up about what you think about other people's life. You don't know what you're talking about. of a person no matter where God puts you what God blesses you with who God enables you to be you gotta chill you gotta chill remain humble like my eye, I can't see. What's this about? <laughs> we got the attention card. Crazy, because my eye, we have the six of wands. It's reversed, though.
you know what I'm, I'm it's like this person they didn't see certain qualities in you they weren't paying attention to anything outside of what they thought would be your downfall like hey man okay we see this little girl we see this whatever they ain't got like they said that they ain't gonna be nothing hey man don't talk about that person they like kikiki <laughs> Oh, this you now wanting me to help you, right? When you were geeky geek, geek on the side, thinking you know better than me. That's that sort of energy. This person. We have the Two of Cups reverse and the Three of Swords. This person, the crazy thing is they still anticipating a downfall for you. They still hoping that things don't, they still hoping that the connection you have with life ends in the three of swords, pain. Like, yeah, I still wish you bad. And you know what God does? God has to bless you. You know what God does? God has to continue. To play the role in your life so that people like this can know their place even further. So that when this person thinks back to the time when they thought they had some shit and they look at you, they remember what they thought they had and remember that they don't have it no more. God don't play, don't fuck around when it comes to God, man. I'm being called to take a reverse of the Eight of Pentacles. God wants me to further speak on that. Um, what my partner and I were speaking about when he said, um, my husband did say that, you know, purpose guarantees, you know, favor, good karma, because you are in the vibration, you're in the region that God has placed you in. And therefore, you're going to it has to work out, right? It's not like you're doing anything out of ego. Oh, I know how to, oh, I think I, yeah, it's, nah. You're doing it with God and you're walking with prayer. So it's the energy of this person is putting in the hard work and dedication to the wrong things. And God is wanting you to learn from that. Learn from this person that it ain't never gonna get you nowhere. It ain't never gonna, being, being someone that doesn't know how to be humble, how to bring yourself down in your high little horse will never get you anywhere. Ego will be the death of people because God will utilize that very same thing you think you got. Don't make God mad. You have the lovers reverse. This person is making, it's like they're dedicating themselves and they're making certain decisions, but it's all reverse. Their decisions are not going to get them the outcome that they want in the future. And it's not because they're not doing, they're not working hard enough. It's because they're not where they're meant to be. They place themselves there. It's like chasing something and then wanting God to bless it. When God didn't even assign you to be in that position, you just think you have some shit figured out. And now you want God to do something about that. No. Back to square one. You go. Start over. Einstein. We have the King of Swords. It's as if life, like this person is looking at you in a way that it's like you mirror, you mirror their darkness because you are who you are originally, authentically, truthfully. And they stand in other energies that they know they fake it till you make it. You trigger things in them that they don't even understand. They just know they don't like it. But again, they wanted to do whatever to play a part, to get the role, to get the whatever, the outcome. But you too small for these shenanigans. This person, you can chew their ass up. Chew it up. 
Chew that ass up. If they ever think they can play in your face with their potential self. And be cool to end your message here. This was your message from God, the big TOD, the biggest Lodo. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. I'm sending you nothing but love, healing, and evolution. Stay prayed up in these dangerous times of envy and jealousy. Goodbye.